And now for our lightsaber, I've got a black 267 inflated about 12 to 13 inches of it. We're not going to need much. Then we've got a green, this happens to be a neon green 260. And as you can see, what I've done is reverse and inflated it. I pull a little bubble on the end. And then while holding the bubble on the end here, inflate and it blows back up backwards. So that I've got my nozzle at this end. And what that does is it gives me a clean end here with no knot on the end of my lightsaber. It's not required to do this. You can do this with a normal inflation if you like. I just prefer to do this, just personal preferences. We're going to come to our black 260. Start with about a half inch bubble on the end. I put it into an ear twist. Another half inch bubble. Make that another ear twist. And a third half inch bubble. So we have three ear twists all on the end of this. Now we're going to go down about eight inches, twist, and we're going to remove the excess. Tie this off, and then trim our excess. So there's our handle. Now we're going to take our green, figure out, oh, come up about an inch or two into this bubble here. By doing that, that keeps it nice and tight. Twist that into those ear clips here several times. And we'll cut this excess off as well. Just cut around in there so that it's locked in really good. And then I will take this piece here, and if you twist it around once or twice, that will pull it down a little more snugly into these three ear clips and ensure that it's locked in better. And I'll position those so they're making sort of a corkscrew pattern or whatever you want to call that there. So that they're locking it all in place. And you have your green lightsaber.